there everyone, it's me Catton here, and today we're going to be playing something a little bit different on the channel. Instead of playing Love Live, today I present to you Doki Doki Literature Club. It's a free game that I found on Steam, and since I haven't played a visual novel not only on the channel or in a long time, I figured I would make this into a little series depending on how long it is, and just that way we can just enjoy this journey together. And okay, so let's start a new game. Okay. Hey! I see an annoying girl running towards me from the distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself. That girl is Sayori, my neighbor and good friend since we were children. You know, the kind of friend you'd never see yourself making today, but it just kind of works out because you've known each other for so long. We used to walk together We used to walk to school together on days like this. But starting around high school she would oversleep more and more frequently, and I would get tired of waiting up. But if she's gonna chase after me like this, I almost feel better off running away. However, I just saw an idol in front of the crosswalk and let Sayori catch up to me. <laughs> oh, I overslept again. But I caught you this time! Maybe, but only because I decided to stop and wait for you. <laughs> you say that like you were thinking about ignoring me. That mean cat. Well, if people stare at you for acting weird, then I don't want them to think we're a couple or something. Fine, fine. But you did wait for me after all. I guess you don't have it in you to be mean even if you want to. Whatever you say, Sayori. <laughs> we cross the street together and make our way to school. As we draw near, the streets become increasingly speckled with other students making their daily commute. By the way, Cat, have you decided on a club to join yet? A club? I told you already, I'm not really interested in joining any clubs. I haven't been looking either. Huh? That's not true! You told me you would join a club this year! Did I? I'm sure it's possible that I did in one of our many conversations where I dismissively go along with whatever she's going on about. Sorry likes to worry a little too much about me, when I'm perfectly content just getting by on the average while spending my free time on games and anime. Uh-huh! I was talking about how I'm worried that you won't learn how to socialize or have any skills before college! <laughs> okay, that's actually sort of a caring thing in my opinion. If your friend cares enough about you to want you to just be able to socialize, then they're at least a decent friend, or at least a very good friend in my opinion. Your happiness is really important to me, you know. See, that's a good friend. Somebody that wants to have your have you be happy, and you also want them to be happy too. So, okay. And I know you're happy now, but I die at the thought of you becoming a neat in a few years because you're not used to the real world. You trust me, right? Don't make me keep worrying about you. All right, all right. I'll look at a few clubs if it makes you happy. No promises, though. Will you at least promise you'll try a little? Yeah, I guess I'll promise you that. Yay! Why do I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl? More than that, I'm surprised I even let myself relent to her. I guess seeing her worry so much about me makes me want to ease her mind at least a little bit. Even if she does exaggerate everything inside of her head. I have a feeling I'm actually going to like Sayori. Just because I'm starting to feel just... I relate to her. The school day is as ordinary as ever, and it's over before I know it. After I pack up my things, I stare blankly at the wall, looking for an ounce of motivation. Clubs. Sorry wants me to check out some clubs. I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. Hello? Sorry? Sorry must have come into the classroom while I was facing out. I look around and realize that I'm the only one left in the classroom. I thought I'd catch you coming out of the classroom, but I saw you just sitting here and spacing out, so I came in. Honestly, you're even worse than me sometimes. I'm impressed. You don't need to wait up for me if it's going to make you late to your own club. Well, I thought you might need some encouragement, so I thought, you know. Know what? Well, that you could come to my club. Sayori. Yeah? There's no way I'm going to your club. Sayori is vice president of the literature club. Not that I 
was aware that she had any interest in literature. In fact, I'm 99% sure she only did it because she thought it would be fun to help start a new club. Since she was the first one to show interest after the one who proposed the club, she inherited the title Vice President. That said, my interest in literature is guaranteed to be even less. Yeah, I'm going to the anime club. Come on, please! Why do you care so much anyway? Well, I kind of told the club yesterday I'd bring in a new member. And Natsuki made cupcakes and everything. <laughs> Don't make promises you can't keep! I can't tell if Sayori is really that much of an airhead, or if she's so cunning as to have planned all of this out. <sighs> I let out a long sigh. <sighs> Fine, I'll stop by for a cupcake, okay? Yes! Let's go! And thus today marks the day I sold my soul for a cupcake. <laughs> Honestly, as long as it's a good cupcake, I would sell my soul too. I dejectedly follow Sayori across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit being generally used for third year classes and activities. Sayori, full of energy, swings open the classroom door. Everyone, the new member is here! I told you, don't call me a new member! Uh? I glance around the room. Welcome to the literature club. It's a pleasure to m it's a pleasure meeting you. Sorry, Sayori always says nice things about you. Seriously, you brought a boy? Way to kill the atmosphere. Ah, oh, Cat, what a nice surprise. Welcome to the club. Oh, I'm supposed to be a boy. Oh, well. I'll just be a boy called Cat. I... Well, I should have known, but... Eh. All words escape me in this situation. This club is full of incredibly cute girls. What are you looking at? If you want to say something, say it. S sorry Natsuki. <laughs> the girl with the sour attitude, whose name is apparently Natsuki, is one I don't recognize. Her small figure makes me think she's probably a first year. She's also the one who made cupcakes, according to Sayori. You can just ignore her when she gets moody. <laughs> Sayori says that quietly into my ear, then turns back towards the other girls. Anyway, this is Natsuki, always full of energy. And this is Yuri, the smartest, smartest. <laughs> Sorry. And this is Yuri, the smartest in the club. D don't say things like that. Yuri, who appears comparably more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with people like so Sayori and Natsuki. Ah, oh, well, it's nice to meet both of you. And it sounds like you already know Monica, is that right? <laughs> That's right. It's great to see you again, Cat. <laughs> Monica smiles sweetly. We do know each other. Well, we rarely talked, but we were in the same class last year. Monica is probably the most popular in class. The most popular girl in class. Smart, beautiful, athletic. Basically, completely out of my league. So having her smile at me so genuinely feels a little. You too, Monica. Come sit down, Cat. We made room for you at the table, so you can sit next to me or Monica. I'll get the cupcakes. Hey, I made them. I'll get them. Sorry, I got a little too excited. <laughs> then how about I make some tea as well? The girls have a few desks arranged in a, to form a table. As Sori mentioned, it's been widened so that there is now one space next to Monica and one space next to Sayori. Natsuki and Yuri walk over to the corner of the room, where Natsuki grabs a wrapped tray and Yuri opens the closet. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Sayori. Oh man, I, th I thought they were going to allow you to choose which seat. And... Okay. Natsuki proudly marches back to the table, tray in hand. Okay, are you ready? Ta-da! Whoa! Natsuki lifts the foil off the table. Natsuki lifts the foil off the tray to reveal a dozen white, fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little cats. Oh, it's adorable. The whiskers are drawn with icing and little pieces of chocolate are, were used to make ears. Oh, that's adorable. So cute. I had no idea you were so good at baking, Natsuki. <laughs> well, you know. Just hurry and take one. <laughs> Sayori grabs one first, then Monica, and then I follow. It's delicious! Oh. 
I don't know why I added that. I think I just tried to add sound effects. Uh, okay. Sayuri talks with her mouth full, and she has already managed to get icing on her face. I turn the cupcake around in my fingers, looking for the best ankle to take a bite. Natsuki is quiet. I can't help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? I finally bite down. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. This is really good. Thank you, Natsuki. Uh, well, why are you thanking me? It's not like I... Uh, haven't I heard this somewhere before? Oh, there's... The student that I trope. I didn't make it for you. I just had extras. <laughs> I made them for you or anything. Huh? I thought you technically did. Sayori said... Uh, well, maybe. But not for y you. No, you, dummy. All right, all right. I give up on Natsuki Natsuki's weird logic and dismiss the conversation. Yuri returns to the table, carrying a tea set. She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot next to the cupcake tray. You keep a whole tea set in this classroom? Don't worry, the teachers gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Uh, uh I, I guess. <laughs> Don't let yourself get intimidated. Yuri's just trying to impress you. Uh, that, that, that's not... Insulted, Yuri looks away. I meant that... You don't know. I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but I at least enjoy tea. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. Monica raises an eyebrow, then she smiles at me. So, what made you consider the literature club? Um, I was afraid of this question. Something tells me I shouldn't tell Monica that I was practically dragged here by Sayori. Well, I haven't joined any clubs yet, and Sayori seemed really happy here, so... <laughs> That's okay, don't be embarrassed. We'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? As president of the Literature Club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. Monica, I'm surprised. How come you decided to start your own club? You could probably be a board member for any of the major clubs. Weren't you a leader of the debate club last year? <laughs> Well, you know. To be honest, I can't stand all the politics around the major clubs. It feels like nothing but arguing about the budget and publicity and how to prepare for events. I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. And if it encourages others to get into literature, then I'm fulfilling that dream. Monica really is a great leader. Yuri also nods in agreement. Okay, quick talk. I actually think that all of these girls are interesting in their own way, and I'm actually excited to see how they're going to be playing out in the story. Because there was a warning at the beginning saying that there's uh, quote-unquote trigger warnings or things that you might want to be aware of. Saying that there's references to really sad subject matter, so I don't know when that's going to hit. So when it does, I will try to let you guys know maybe in an intro before the hand, but just... A heads up, this is supposed to have a darker tone to it. But I'm liking how it's starting off so far, and I'm, I'm interested to see what all these characters are going through. And honestly, I think Monica's my favorite with Yuri and Sayori. I don't know about Natsuki. She seems too much like a tsundere, but let's go. Yuri also nods in agreement. Then I'm surprised there aren't more people in the club yet. It must be hard to start a new club. You could put it that way. Not many people are very interested in putting out all the effort to start something brand new. Especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention, like literature. You have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. But it makes school events like the festival that much more important. I'm confident that we can all really grow this club before we graduate. Right, everyone? Yeah! We'll do our best. You know it! Everyone enthusiastically agrees. Such different girls, all interested in the same goal. Monica must have worked really hard just to find these three. Maybe that's why they were all so delighted by the idea of a new member joining. Though I still don't know if I can keep up with their level of enthusiasm about literature. So Kat, what kinds of things do you like to read? Well, uh, considering how little I've read these past few years, I don't really have a good idea of, of answering that. I can agree to that with some point, 
I love reading, but I sometimes prefer to go for the shorter stuff, but yeah. Manga. <laughs> At least the main character's being honest. I mutter quietly to myself, half joking. Natsuki, Natsuki's head suddenly perks up. It looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. N not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with her finger. My favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. And telling good stories to foreign worlds is equally impressive. Yuri goes on, clearly passionate about her reading. She seems so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious by the way she, her eyes light up that she finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. But you know, I like a lot of things. Stories that with deep psychological elements really usually immerse me as well. I can agree with that. Isn't it amazing how a writer can so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination and completely throw you for a loop? Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Same! Same! I'm starting to relate to Yuri too, oh my gosh. Okay. Oh, I read a horror book once. I just really grasped something I can relate to at the minimal level. At this rate, Yuri might as well be having a conversation with a rock. <laughs> the rock? Nah, just a rock. Really? I wouldn't have expected that, Yuri. There's someone as gentle as you. I guess you could say that. But if a story makes me think or takes me to another world, then I really can't put it down. So real horror is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world, if only for a brief moment. Ugh, I hate horror. Oh, why's that? Well, I just... Ugh. Natsuki's eyes dart over to me for a split second. N n never mind. That's right, you usually like to write about cute things, don't you, Natsuki? What? What gives you that idea? You left a piece of scrap paper behind at the last cup uh, at the last club meeting. Sorry, I skipped past that. It looked like you're working on a poem called Don't Say It Out Loud! Hey, give that back! Fine, fine. <laughs> your cupcakes, your poems, everything you do is just as cute as you are. Sayori say slides up behind in Natsuki and puts her hands on her shoulders. Cute! Natsuki, you write your own poems? Uh, well, I guess sometimes. Why do you care? I think that's impressive. Why don't you share them sometime? No! Natsuki averts her eyes. You wouldn't like them. Ah, not very com not a very confident writer yet, huh? I understand how Natsuki feels. Sharing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. You must be willing to open up to your readers, exposing your vulnerabilities, and showing even the deepest reaches of your heart. Do you have writing experience too, Yuri? Maybe if you share some of your work, you can set an example and help Natsuki feel comfortable enough to share hers. Uh, I guess it's the same for Yuri. <laughs> oh, he wanted to read everyone's poems. We all sit in the second. Uh, we all sit in silence for a moment. Okay, I have an idea, everyone. Hmm? Natsuki and Yuri look quizzically at... Quizzically? I think that's a word. <laughs> quizzically at Monica. Let's all go home and write a poem of our own. The next time we meet, we'll all share them with each other. That way, everyone is even. Uh, um... Uh, uh, yeah, let's do it! Plus, now that we have a new member, I think it'll help us all get a little more comfortable with each other and strengthen the bond of the club. Isn't that right, Kat? Monica smiles warmly at me once again. Monica, hold on, there's still one problem. Huh? What's that? Now that we're back to the original topic of me joining the club, I bluntly come forth with what's been on my mind the entire time. I never said I would join this club. Sayori may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made any decision. I still have other clubs to look at, and, um, I lose me to the thought. All four girls stare back at me with dejected eyes. 
Okay, I think that's a good place to leave off because it's already been like 20 minutes and I don't want to keep you guys for too long. But this has been Doki Doki Literature Club. Thank you for sticking by and sticking around for this. And I'll hopefully have the next episode up maybe next week. And so yeah, um, be sure to leave a like if you like this video or just tell me whatever else I need to improve on. And yeah, thank you guys for watching and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye!